Hey guys, Saint Snipes 2883 here, welcoming you guys back to the channel here with another movie review. Excuse me. And today's film that we are going to be reviewing for you today is the nearest James Franco comedy, The Disaster Artist. Now, just so you guys know, and if you haven't seen our movie reviews before, Basically, this will just be our personal opinions. There will be absolutely zero spoilers in this movie, so that people who do want to go see it can go see the movie unspoiled. This is just for opinion's sake, and this is just for the archives, you know? So, yeah. But anyways, without further ado, let's dive in. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to keep seeing uh, movie reviews on the channel, you know what to do. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive straight into the review, and well, basically, if you're a fan of comedies, and if you're a fan of Dave Franco and Dave Franco, you have to see this film. This film, I honestly think, is one of the, is not just one of the best comedies I've seen this year, but also one of the best comedies that I have ever seen in my entire goddamn life. I mean, it's fun. Actually, all the jokes made me laugh, which is very important in a comedy. So, and uh, the story, if you don't know, is actually based on a true story about this uh, guy, uh, Greg. Greg Sestero, I believe his name was. Yeah, Greg Sestero, and uh, how his life changed when he was, actually when he uh, met the mysterious man that we know as the man, the myth, the legend, Tommy Wiseau, played by, played superbly by James Franco, and basically it, this is about how they make their movie, The Room. And uh, this is a spoiler because if you don't know The Room, then you need to actually then watch The Room, I recommend it. It's actually, it's one of those films that's so bad, it's good. But, uh, let's see. What can I talk about? I mean, all, as I said before, all the jokes are absolutely superb. They make, they always make me laugh about how bad, like, Tommy acts and all that sort of stuff. And if one's interactions with Tommy, it's just understandable. I mean, you'd do the same thing if you met this guy. Uh, what else? The acting as well. Superb. I mean, James Franco, if he doesn't win an Oscar for this, he does, he at least deserves to be nominated for an Oscar for this. I mean, because... This film... The acting was really superb in this... Uh, what else? The story? Eh, it's based on true events, so I can't say whether it's true or not, but uh, from what I've seen and uh, from what I've read on the Disaster Artist book, it seems legit. It really does uh, seem legit and it does look all true. They've kept true to the book because I heard James Franco say without the book, then the movie couldn't exist. So, bravo to. James Franco, who actually directs this, uh, for actually relying on the source material, which is good as well. Dave Franco, as well as his brother, as Greg. Another good touch. And uh, the rest of the cast do their jobs quite well. And they're really good, actually. And one thing I have to talk about is well, obviously, if you're gonna have. Uh, if you're gonna have an actor play an actor and reenact the sa some of the same scenes that that actor was in in the movie and the making of the movie then you have to compare the performances of both of them and honestly they both honestly James Franco knocks it out of the park because Tom Wiseau every performance as him actually as Tom Wiseau is superb and fantastic Honestly, I think this is going to be a short review because there's not really a lot to talk about. But that's why I like. That's why I really enjoy this movie. It's simple, 
and there's not a lot to talk about. So yeah. And you know what? I think it's time for the final verdict. Uh, I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10. It really is that good. If you're a fan of comedies, if you're a fan of Jay Franco and Dave Franco, if you're a if you want something funny to watch over the Christmas period, then by all means, Disaster Artist, 9 out of 10, is a superb choice. And that is all. So what did you? So that's what we thought about the Disaster Artist. What did you guys think about it? Uh, did you like it? If you didn't, tell us what you didn't like about it. Maybe uh, whatever thoughts you have, leave in the comments down below. All right. And, that, and for now, guys, I'm afraid it's now time to end today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy that. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you're not new, then don't forget to turn on the post notifications. Simple to do, really. All you gotta do is click the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Tick the box. There will be no notifications to the channel. Press save. Then boom. You get instant notifications on when we go live or when we post a new video. And apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next video. So until then, guys, as always... Peace.